Sometimes I crave pickles. Other times, I crave the blood of my enemy. Weird. Charlie Davidson. There was a dead tax attorney in my closet, sobbing uncontrollably into the hem of her blouse. She'd been there a few days now. It made getting dressed in the morning awkward. I would have avoided her altogether if I could, but it was my only closet, and it was microscopic. Tough to ignore chance encounters. There was just no way of knowing her cause of death without talking to her, and God knew I tried to do that on several occasions. She wouldn't stop sobbing long enough for me to get a word in edgewise. I could have told her I could see her because I'd been born the Grim Reaper. I could have told her I'd help her find whoever did this. I could have told her she could cross through me whenever she was ready to see her family, those who had passed before her. Most people who died went either north or south immediately following their deaths, but some stayed behind. Many had unfinished business of some kind, just like the ghosts and spirits in folk tales, but some stayed behind because they died traumatically. Their energy grabbed hold of the earthly realm and didn't let go. They were anchored here, and until they healed, they would never cross to the other side. That was where I came in. I helped the departed any way I could. I found their killers, righted their wrongs, sent messages to their loved ones, all so they could heal and cross to the other side, which they then did through me, through my light. A light that was supposedly so brilliant, it could be seen by the departed from anywhere on Earth. 